Okay, there we go. Thank goodness the valve cover gasket is leaking because it kept all those bolts down underneath nicely oiled for easy removal. There's two. There we go, another one. theory this comes out through the top I hope uh, uh oh what is that I don't know but it's broken Gasket complete. Let's see the intake valve. Oh, that's the intakes there. That's the exhaust there. The intakes are carboned up a lot. We'll have to clean that. Clean off the surface. You can see how wet this side of the engine is. Looks like it's all coming from the valve cover gasket. I got a new one of those, so we'll replace that once we get all the rest of this back together. I don't know what that number means there. Five, three, zero, two, three, five, five, nine. I got the exhaust manifold in, just the front and rear bolts right now. Now we gotta put the intake manifold and get one, two, three, four, five top bolts and four bottom. Oh, and some fuel. I think they're all snugged up. Hey guys, welcome back. It's about six days later since we left off the other night. So let's get back into this. All right, so the intake is all torqued. So now we can start putting the other stuff back together. I guess the first thing we'll do is get this power steering pump back on. We gotta put the power steering pump back on. We gotta put the EVAP canister back bunch of vacuum hoses and the fuel line. Let's work on this uh, power steering pump first. in there. Alright, that one's nice and rusted out. That's good. Good. goes like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Found it. Sneaky little devil. I guess it goes right there. Yep. Got it. All right, very good. 
Now what? This goes in here. We gotta tighten up these clamps. All right, I think we're all done up top. We just gotta finish the exhaust down below. I'm probably gonna regret this because I probably should have put the O2 sensors in first, but I didn't. We gotta get it situated so that this pipe here is not hitting this drive shaft. It's like a line, but it's not a line. So if one goes here, one has to go up there. Yeah, which one goes which way? Let's see, how's that go? No, it's, that's not good. That's the wrong way. Come on, come on now. Come on. Okay, it's gotta go this way. Uh, it came out on this side. Well, we're still in. I don't know how, but we're still in. So, this has to come in like this. Something like that. I'm just stuck on now. Something like that. And now this guy's gotta go here. Oh, yeah, this will be fun. I'm just to see what I'm doing up here. Okay. Put the O2 sensor in first. Okay, that's there. Oh, it doesn't want to twist now, so that's great. I like it. Situated a little straighter. That's awesome. Let's see if I can. Whoopsie. Daisy. Three more hands. And I'm trying not to get rust in my eyes. All right, we got one started. Okay. I got nothing. Maybe if it was just a quarter inch longer, I could at least get it seated. So work now. Loosen the other one a bit. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can at least get this started here. Oh, that'll tell me it's going back in. Okay. All right. We're getting uh, somewhere. Oopsie. That's really close. That doesn't seem right. This is like really close to this drive shaft here. I guess that's a little better. Some clearance. Alright, get the wrench in there. That's good. Now get this guy in there, maybe. No, this is good. Alright, I'm gonna myself. Good. Fine. You can get back in there and stay there. Now this is gonna come off, guaranteed. On this side, do this one. Now let's go back on this side. And do this one. Come on, get on there. Alright, there we go. Oh, there you go. Now, now we gotta we can keep that washer on. That should be good. Alright, this and this. Okay. Get the washer. Get on there. Okay. Alright. Let's get this and this now. This comes up in here. Oh. 
I'm gonna change this. Put this in there like that. Hey, yeah, you get back on there. Back on this one here. Make sure this one's back on there. Hey, back in there. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Check this one one more time. Put my feet on there. Hey, get back up there. All right, guys, here's the 202 sensors. This is the front one, 23151, and this is the rear, 23099, both made by NGK. These are the only ones you should use on this, uh, on these Jeep. Okay, try and get this O2 sensor in here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I hope so. I put some anti seize on the threads. Should always do that. It'll help you if you ever got to take it out again which hopefully you don't, but you never know. You want to be careful when you're twisting these wires too. You don't want to damage them. Okay. All right. Let's see. How is this going to go in? Come on. Got the front one in. We gotta get this lead up to the top here. Right. I don't know if you guys be able to see this. It's up in here. Or I can barely see it. How am I gonna get this in there? Jesus. Come on. For an O2 socket. I doubt it's gonna work, but we can try. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Let's take this off now. Okay. All right. We got that out. Why is it good? Now we'll clip this guy in. Somehow, I don't know how. Let's see here, what do we got locking wise? Like this? No. Let's go like this. Yeah, there we go. Maybe? No. I think we're good with that. All right, we got that in. That looks good. All right, we got to plug in a O2 sensor up here. And I got this, and I got this here. So let's plug this together. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Okay. Got this and this. We got that plugged in. Now we're still missing this bracket. I don't know where it went. What did I do with that bracket? All right, I gotta find that bracket. Oh, here. I don't know where it is. I gotta find it. Missing with the screws. Interesting. What's the screw? Unless. Oh, man, look at that. That's not good. Let's unplug this again. We're wrapping a line down here. Yeah? Come this way. Okay, that's better. Still don't know where the bracket is. Where'd it go? Gotta be here somewhere. That's not it. It's not there. All right, I found it. It was still on the O2 sensor from the old exhaust. So let's get this back in here. 
Let's see if it's This goes like this. Yeah, come on. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, in theory, we're all set. But before we do, I'm going to disconnect the battery, so this way the computer can relearn because we got those new O2 sensors in there. All right, guys. Here we are. I took the uh, negative battery cable off. We'll put this back on. All right. Let's see what happens when it starts. Sounds pretty good. Whoa. Just all the stuff from the uh, exhaust manifold burning off. Sounds good. Idling good. All right, guys, sounds pretty good. We're still going to do a tune up on it when we get a chance. But I think we got the exhaust and lean, uh, the uh, engine code P0171 running lean, but it was running rich. I think we got that squared away with the O2 sensors. See the new exhaust. New muffler. Heads out the back. And then there we got the new tailpipe. see let's see we get this what is this glare coming from you can see alternators working dumped a little fuel in there see we're just over a quarter of a tank over 14 volts it's charging idling right around Oh, 800 RPMs. See, 187,096 miles. And we got our oil pressures over 40 at idle. Temperatures right around 210. All right, looking good. All right, here you can see the uh, how it's running 
you can see but uh, put a screenshot before I don't have a video before the uh, the O2 sensor bank one uh, sensor one the front one it was reading zero volts uh, so I believe that was causing the engine to believe it was running lean however it was trying to correct that condition and is running super rich so now that we've done that our uh, fuel trim levels were way off as well they were up in like the high 20s or low 30s I think so right now uh, short term fuel trim is basically at zero negative 0.8 it's jumping around a little bit, but it's good. And the long-term fuel trim is at negative 7.8. The both O2 sensors are functioning properly, right at about 800 RPMs. 1500 revs. So it looks like everything's working as it should. Looks like we accomplished what we wanted to. We'll keep an eye on these fuel trims, make sure everything's working well as we move forward. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for this episode of 5B's Garage. We did the exhaust system, we did the exhaust manifold, everything from the exhaust manifold all the way back. It was a fun project, simple hand tools, nothing crazy. If I can do it, you can do it. We corrected a... a rich running condition computer was sensing it was lean however it was running rich due to either uh, some breaks in the o2, in the exhaust system or faulty o2 sensor i personally believe it was the o2 sensor um, but the cracked manifold and exhaust leaks could absolutely add to that so thanks for joining me today if you like this video please hit that subscribe button don't forget to give me a like and we'll see you guys on the next one